Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that has been subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. Smooches. But if you want to book a reading with me, um, just email me. My email is in the description box down below. Okay. So let's see what's going on for my collective for Aquarius. Okay, this reading can resonate with any sign, for real, for real. It just don't have to be Aquarius, okay? Because I watch all the signs that's in my birth chart, which is most of the zodiac signs. I only don't have Pisces, Virgo, and um, I don't have Leo in my birth chart. But the, all the rest of the zodiac signs are in my birth chart. So I watch a lot of videos. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Like I said, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate to you. Okay, just take what fits your story and leave the rest with somebody else. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Aquarius, spirit guys, over the night, ancestors. Okay, so we have here the Six of Wands and the King of Cups. So if you're picking at the tail Aries or Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, okay, and we have here the Ten of Pentacles. You're picking at the tail of Virgo. And we have here the Hermit. Yeah, Virgo again. So... What I'm seeing right now here, we have the Institute of the Bottom of the Deck, so you can be connected to another Aquarius like yourself, uh, Gemini or Libra. So what I'm seeing here is that you got mental clarity about a situation or somebody. Yeah, this person with the Knight of Wands here, they is a player, okay? This person only care about one thing, which is sex. Them getting it fulfilled. Them getting their way. Somebody here don't, um like to compromise with the next person okay somebody here likes to be in control and i'm seeing here somebody here also cares about what people think you know so i don't know if this person could get, get a lot of attention they can be very attractive okay and a lot of people be throwing themselves at them and it's like it boosts this person's ego and it's like this person does things to be accepted by society okay and I'm seeing here, you could have been in a public relationship with this person. And it's like, to the public, this person showed them being like a good spouse. But behind closed doors, somebody here was um, manipulative. They was abusive. Okay, this person was a thief. Okay, they was not to be trusted. Yes, yeah, somebody here was materialistic, greedy. Okay, you could have had a child with this person. For some of y'all, y'all probably didn't. But I'm seeing here, it's like... I feel like somebody here changed who you was. I feel like when before you met this person, I feel like you was yourself. Okay, you didn't have no problem being who you is, who you were. But I'm sitting here. It's like when you met this person, I feel like you either tried to like change certain things about yourself to make this person like you or to be accepted by this person, so they could so they won't leave you. Because, yeah, with the King of Cups here, I'm seeing here, it's like this person, I don't feel like there was a bad, bad lover to you. But I just feel like this person had their days, you know. Yeah, I'm not seeing this person, like, I don't really get like this person abused you or anything like that. But for some of y'all, y'all, this person probably did. But I'm just seeing here that this person, it's like... It could have changed, you know, when y'all first met, this person was loving, it was caring, you know, everything was going good, you know. Y'all were like a power couple here. And then I'm seeing here that somebody here, like, changed. And they made you didn't want to be around this person. And I'm seeing here you could have started spending time alone, doing some self-reflection here, okay. I'm seeing here it's like you were trying to keep something together for the public. Yeah, Six of Wands and Ten of Pentacles, that's what I'm getting. Like, you were trying to keep something looking good for the public. Sacrificing your happiness for this person or for your kids. 
because you want your kids to, you know, either have that marriage, you know, like that community, that family. Like, you don't want your kids to have the parent without the other in the household, you know. Yeah, I've seen this person. This person was a good provider here. Okay, they took care of their family. They were very responsible here. But I'm seeing, yeah, I'm getting like somebody here was sneaky though. It's like, I feel like you don't know everything that this person have done to you. You probably could be separated from this person or you're thinking about separating this person. You still could be dealing with this person for some of y'all. Because I'm seeing marriage here with the Ten of Pentacles. But, or you could be in the process of getting a divorce. I'm seeing some of y'all could be um, like going to stay with another family member here. It's like y'all still live with each other, but you're either going to stay with a, a friend or something like that while y'all figure things out but with the seven of swords here yeah that's what i'm getting the seven of swords is about somebody here that's you know being a liar you know somebody here that's stealing from you whether it be your motherfucking your time you know it just don't have to be money or materialistic shit Because I feel like this person, even though I said stealing your time, because you know everything happened for a reason. And that's probably something that you need to learn in your journey, you know. Probably something destined for you to learn in your journey was to get heartbroken by this person. But I'm seeing you start realizing something here, that this person wasn't being completely honest with you. And that could have been about anything. Like, this person could have just been lying about the smallest shit, you know, like them not um having a job or um somebody i don't know it could have been somebody trying to flirt with them or anything like that i don't know this person lied or them trying to flirt with somebody i just that's what i just heard but i'm seeing that you moved away from this person and i'm seeing for some y'all y'all had to move away very quietly from this person due to the fact that they could have been abusive mm. like you or somebody here was, um, yeah, I'm seeing here somebody here, this person had a hold of the finances, and you probably didn't. Somebody here was in control of the finances. It was in, in one, like, bank or something like that, one account. Yeah, because of the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, I'm seeing that somebody here had to start over. So you could be learning some type of new skill, you know, or going back to school for something. And that's why some of y'all also feel like y'all had to stay in the situation here because... Somebody here was hogging the finances and something like that. And you were so used to this person taking care of you. You felt like you wouldn't met nobody else that would take care of you like this person did. But still, somebody here was not respectful to you. It could have been verbal abuse as well. Could I find a seven of cups? Oh, this is the seven of cups. I thought this was the seven of swords. I don't know why I got that. But yeah, seven of cups is about somebody here being confused. Not know what the hell they want. You know? Yeah, this person treated you like an option after a while. It's like when y'all first met, this person was letting it be known like they want you, they want to be with you, they don't, they, they not looking at nobody else. But as y'all start being with each other, you start seeing this person two colors, and it's like this person won't even spend time with the family. It's like they always be gone, saying that they doing something for work or something like that. But whole time they're entertaining an option of theirs. I don't know why for some of y'all I'm getting this person didn't hit you. They just cheated and messed around. But for some of y'all, y'all had somebody here that was manipulative. They was a narcissist. They was abusive. Okay. We have the nine of wands here. Yeah, and this person thought that you were just supposed to stay and deal with they, they, they bullshit. So when you moved on and you start taking action and shit, letting this person let it be known like, yeah, I'm not going to deal with you. I don't care if I'm walking away with nothing. I'm starting over fresh. You know, you probably went through that period of time where you felt lonely. You know, you were just like going through it. You know, you was probably depressed. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords here, you felt trapped. But it's like you couldn't stay here any longer or you're going to continue to feel this way. You know? And I'm also saying y'all could have had business together. And that was also hard for you to walk away here because it's like, you know, it's not easy just to walk away from a business that you have with somebody. 
it's like you were trying to think what is the best way that you can handle this situation, you know, without letting your emotions get the best of you, you know. We have the Page of Wands here. I'm also seeing that this person didn't know how to communicate good. It's like you probably could have tried to have a conversation with, this, conversation with this person and let this person know, like, you know, like, what's going on? Like, what are we doing here? Like, you know, like, I don't know if this person didn't peep that you seen what the hell they was doing. Because I'm seeing somebody here was trying to be sneaky. Like, this is how a person is like, if they went out with somebody else, they'll let the person leave out before them. So it won't look like, you know, just a case of somebody watching their ass. But I'm seeing here, it's like you, you, this person couldn't, you know, they couldn't, they, they, it couldn't slide with you. That's what I'm trying to say. Damn. So yeah, there's somebody here can have a hard time speaking for themselves or speaking up or saying what they need to say. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from their ass. It was like, okay, I see I'm the only one trying to communicate here and try to get some type of understanding here and you're not trying to you know, have a talk, you're trying to, yeah, somebody here was trying to sweep something underneath the rug. Yeah, and I'm seeing you have started your healing process here. You released this person. Some of y'all could be taking y'all kids with y'all. Or you're going to have to either, somebody who's going to want to try to go to court with you or something like that. To see who get custody over kids. Or y'all could be very mature about the situation. And y'all could, like, you know, co-parent and do shit the right way. So, we have the two of cups here. Yeah, I'm seeing that you're going into another connection. And this situation is preparing you for this new connection because whoever that you're about to be with is going to be your person. Okay, it could probably be somebody here that's another ethnicity than you. But this is going to be the person that you're going to settle down with that is going to be forever. So that's beautiful. Go for the page of wands. That's crazy how this person just thought that you were supposed to stick around because this person felt like since y'all have been with each other for a long time and shit like that, y'all got like ties to each other whether that been business or anything like that kids it's like this person thought that oh they ain't gonna never leave me you know i could do what i want like somebody here got too comfortable you feel me go find a page of wands we have the imprints here yeah this person also could have got somebody else pregnant that they didn't tell you about go find a page of wands Tell me how this person could have gave you something. That's how you figured out this person was cheating on you. Could have had to pay them on or you smelt them and it smelled like, you know, it wasn't what it wasn't supposed to smell like. Could have had to pay them on. We have the justice and the temperance. Three major icons. Yeah. So some of y'all is going to have to go to court to balance out the situation here when it comes to kids because somebody here is... Just trying to be petty, you know, because you don't want their ass no more. They thought they could have their cake and eat it too. But I'm sitting here, you don't have to fucking worry because you are the empress at the end of the motherfucking day. Okay, and you're going to get all the abundance you deserve. Love, all that. And you're going to have a moment outcome here because you didn't do nothing wrong to this person. Okay? Mm-hmm. And it probably takes some time here. Something is going to take some time. Yeah. So don't be rushing nothing at this time because I feel like the universe is working behind the scenes to help you. So everything's going to happen in divine time here. You know, but I feel like you feel free. You know, you're excited for what's to come, the future. We have, yeah, we went through a transformation here with the death card. Now you have ended something completely. Like you're not going back to the situation. Yeah. You could be starting a, a business for yourself. The Pentacles here. But I'm seeing this person that you're going to meet. Y'all going to team like team up here and do something here. It is going to be very abundant. Both of y'all are going to be very creative here. Or you're going to create something here with your kids. Y'all going to create a business together. So that's dope. Could I write the death card? We have here the Queen of Pentacles. And 
and the Eight of Wands. Hmm. I always get this. As soon as you try to take a leap of faith and move forward, here goes somebody here that's trying to come in towards you. Mm-hmm. I'm also seeing here, somebody here is going to lose out on money when it comes to a business. Since they was being greedy and they was like trying to go about the situation the wrong way here and be petty and naive and malicious, I feel like they're going to lose out on a lot of money here from a business or something like that. Somebody here is going to become the ask you for some money or can you help them out financially or something like that. And this is somebody here that did you bogus, that you moved away from, that you're not going back to. This person, they're going to try to come back and ask you for something. What else? We have here the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're releasing some type of burden here. Yeah. We have the Emperor in reverse and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you have let let go of let go control of a situation here. Because I'm saying you probably try to control a situation because you want to keep shit together for your family. But I'm saying you have let that go. Because you see something didn't try to, didn't go in your favor when you try to control it, whether that been not trying to lead this person or something, you seen that you kept getting signs and you kept feeling um pain and heartbreak from this person. The more and more you stayed, you feel me? You wasn't happy, and I'm seeing you you let it go. It was like, okay, this situation is draining me, you know, you was exhausted, yeah. You could have also had fear of this person either sending people or talking shit about you or gossiping to people about you. Like, fuck what these people think. Who gives a fuck? The fuck? I bet you these people broke. They're not happy. Okay, they got people cheating on their ass. They don't have shit going on for themselves. So it's like, who gives a fuck? What this person say about you? Yeah, and these people be watching you and shit. Like, and they're going to see that you you happy. They, that's going to make them mad. They're going to want to try to, you feel me? Get some type of reaction out of you because they see that you have what they don't have. That they want. The fuck? Mm-hmm. Clap out of five of wands. That's all this, this person hang around. It's people that start drama, that gossip. Like, fake, phony-ass people, night of wands. Yeah, people that have sex addictions and shit. What else with the five of wands? This person could have homies or girlfriends that be on the same shit. They be cheating on a person that don't, that have commitment issues. That got their heart chakra blocked. Clear for the five of wands. That got this mentality where all people cheat. You know, somebody here that just let society like make them believe that love don't exist. So they. Do this so they go go around getting with people that genuinely love them and they hurt them. Cause they think some but they think that, that person gonna hurt them. Clear for the page of cups. I mean, I said clear for the page of cups. So we have the nine of wands and the page of cups here. So yeah, people that doesn't don't have no experience on what true love is. Okay, they just come in for one thing and that's all they want. You know? People that don't have feelings that try to block their feelings out so they won't get hurt. Mm-hmm. And I'm also seeing here, somebody here want to come and apologize to you for some shit that they caused, whether they, whether they, had, whether they had your competition or they had to um, get people on their side to go against you and talk shit about you, all that. This person wants to come back and apologize, but I feel like you don't want the apology. They could, um... Keep that apology. The fuck? 
Somebody here just want to just talk to you. Like, you don't want to be bothered with the ass. The fuck? Yeah, it's weird. Okay. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.